Hi friends, this is Prabhas and you are welcome to my channel Civil Land. As you know, lap length and develop length are two important terms in land enforcement. But many of us get confused with the difference between develop length and lap length. In this video, we will discuss about lap length. What is lap length? What is the lapping position in beam, column, and slab? Then first, we have to understand what is lapping. You know, why lapping is needed? During placing of steel in acid structure, if the required length of bar is not sufficiently available to make a design layer, then lapping is done. Lapping means overlapping of two bars side by side to achieve a required design length. Suppose we are going to build a tall building. Suppose 90 feet tall building, which have 90 feet 200 feet tall column. But practically 100 feet long bar is not available and it is also not possible to catch. Therefore, we need to cut the bars in every second tray. Now, we need to transport the tension force or stresses from one bar to another bar at location of discontinuity. So, we have to provide the second bar close to the first bar that is discontinued and overlap is to be done. The amount of overlapping between two bars is known as overlap length. In case of RC structure, if the length of reinforcement bar need to be extended, splicing is used to join two reinforcement bar for transferring the forces to joint bar. Now come to best zone for lapping. For lapping, point of control fracture where bending moment is equal to zero is the best position for lapping. Then zone subject to, to least building moment and third one is zone not subject to tensile force. These are the safest zone for lapping. Now comes to how to get overlap length in column and the best position in column for lapping. In this figure we can see this is a column and if you draw the bending diagram of column we can see at the center that is the point of control friction that is the bending moment at center is equal to zero then from the center towards support the bending moment increases and the zone near the support acts like a tension zone as for IS code we have to provide lapping where bending moment is zero or less for safe transfer of traces without fail so we can divide the column by three zones that is zone A, zone B and zone A. So we have to provide lapping at zone B. Care should be taken during lapping so that lapping of all bars should not lie in same plane. Suppose the column has four bars. First two corner bars should be lapped in one plane and other two corner bars should be lapped in another plan. We have to maintain a gap between two lapping position within zone B so that the weak position should not lie in one plane. For column, formula for lapping length is equal to 45 into D that is 45 into diameter of the bar. For example, if you use 20 mm bar then lapping length is equal to 45 into 20 that is equal to 900 mm. Another thing is that in the lapping zone, the spacing of stirrups should be less. It should not higher than 150 mm from center to center distance of stirrup. Now comes to how much and where to provide lapping length in beam. We are advised not to create lap in simple supported beam. But if it is necessary, then we can do it. If you draw bending moment diagram of a simple supported beam, then we can see the bending moment is high at the mid span and it becomes zero towards the center. Here, lower bars experience maximum tension at the mid span and, and top bar experience tension near the support. So, lapping position for reinforcement for simple supported beam is nearer to support, that is, L by 3 to L by 4 from the support and lapping position for top bar at the mid span. Here lap length in tension bar is equal 50 into D and lap length in compression bar is equal 24 into D where D is equal to diameter of the bar. 
similarly for continuous spin for continuous spin lap length in tension bar is equal to 50 into d and lap length in compression bar is equal to 24 into d the best position of lapping is l by 3 to l by 4 from the support that is the one third to one fourth length of the span from the support these zones are the best zone for lapping of reinforcement in beam. Now comes to lapping of reinforcement in slab. Here lap length is equal to 60 into D, that is 60 into diameter of the bar. The best position of lapping is near the support. For all structural members, minimum lapping length is 300 mm or 40 D, whichever is higher. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. If you have any question or suggestion, feel free to comment me and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.